Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys will probably know if you have followed me for a while and watched my videos that I really struggle through the Manitoba winters here in Canada. They are absolutely horrendous. I'm freezing at the best time of the year, like even in the summertime I get cold, so I have a hard time surviving and making it through winter here in Manitoba. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today some tips and tricks and essentials that I have to help me get through the winter season. The first thing on my list is a pair of fuzzy socks. These are thermal socks that I got. I actually just bought them from Giant Tiger, but they're super thick and fuzzy on the inside and really warm and are perfect for keeping my feet warm. And it is usually always my feet that get super cold. So these are really a lifesaver through the snowy months to keep my feet nice and warm. So these are definitely top of my list when it comes to my winter essentials. Next up is a bean bag. So basically, if you guys haven't heard of bean bags before, you simply just pop them in the microwave for a couple minutes and they heat up really warm. They have oats inside of them that um, hold heat for a long period of time and you can use them to heat up your body wherever you need to. So like your chest or your feet or wherever. I always heat this up before I go to bed and I take it to bed with me through the winter months and it is a lifesaver for warming up my feet because my husband hates when I put my feet on him in the middle of the night to try and warm them up because he is like a furnace, like a human furnace and he, he always tells people that I am cold blooded because I am just cold all of the time. But yeah, this is definitely one of my essentials to heat up and just have with me on the couch when I'm watching TV and just to get warm and cozy in bed before falling asleep. Next up on my list of winter essentials, another one to keep me warm and cozy is my heated blanket here and this is just by Sunbeam and it has three different settings so basically what you do is you plug it into the outlet, you can just hit this button here once for low, twice for medium and three times for high heat and it is a time heat. I believe it will stay on for two hours and then once two hours is up it turns itself off for safety reasons obviously but yes this heated blanket is definitely one of my other essentials for the winter months to help me get through and survive the terrible terrible cold another winter essential on my list has to be these 24 hour moisturizing body 24 hour ultra shade body creams from bath and body works this is just one i had in my closet it's the endless weekend scent but basically these are lifesavers for my skin through the winter months so what i do is as soon as i get out of the shower i lather my entire body in this stuff because if i don't i will turn into a scaly reptile <laughs> it's gross my skin gets so dry in the winter months so this is definitely a lifesaver for my skin in the winter months and to help me keep moisturized. Next up on my winter essentials list is a Lush Balm. This one I have here is one of the winter ones. It is their Luxury Lush Pud and it smells so good. And it turns your bath all types of wonderful colors and it's one of my favorites, but Lush Baths are definitely a must on my winter essentials list. I could have a bath every single night, all through winter if I could, but once I discovered Lush quite a few years ago, ever since then I just have not been able to take baths with just plain water. It just seems weird to me. I have to have some sort of a bath bomb. Lush just happens to be my favorite, and this is also one of my favorites. I bought this for the sake of this video, but now that I'm filming it, I think I'm going to be hopping in the bath after I film this video. Next up on my winter essentials list are Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candles. This one I have here is the Fresh Balsam scent, which I do love, especially around the Christmas holiday season. It smells like Christmas trees, so this is one of my favorites. But my other favorite 3 Wick Candle scent for winter is Bath & Body Works Winter Scented Candle. It's called Winter. I have it in the other room. It's burning right now. But yes, those two are my favorite, favorite candles for the winter season and they just help me feel nice and cozy through the winter months. Next up on my list is my favorite nail polish for the winter season and that has to be this one right here. It is Rimmel London's Lasting Finish Pro Nail Polish in the color Steel Grey. It's perfect for the 
Fall and winter months it is not a spring or summery color. I just love the color of it on my nails. So this is definitely my nail polish essential for the winter months. It never fails without a doubt at least once throughout the winter months every single year. I always come down with a cold. It never fails and actually right now I think I'm kind of fighting one off and to remedy that I have this tea right here, it's from David's Tea and it is their Organic Cold 911 Tea. So it's an herbal infusion tea. They come in little things like this, you just rip it open and they're in little sachets already. So it's not, it is loose leaf tea, but it's in a little tea bag already. I'm not gonna open it up right now because I'm not gonna be drinking it. But yeah, I really like these to help remedy a cold. Who are you gonna call? Bad colds require badass interventions. Take this tea for example. It's a deliciously soothing mixture of peppermint, juniper berries, and eucalyptus. Simply the best. Made using our whole leaf tea, these top quality tea sachets have the same amazing taste as our loose leaf blends. A sustainable choice. Sachet and overwrap are 100% OXO biodegradable. So yeah, this is definitely something that I reach for when I have a cold in the winter months. It really, really helps to fight off the colds. Next up on my winter essentials list is a nice fluffy scarf. This is one of my favorites. I've actually had it for quite a few years. I got it at a craft sale, so it is homemade, but this is definitely a winter essential for me. I literally do not leave the house in the winter months without a scarf on because my chest is something that gets cold right away as well as my feet. They're just the two parts of my body that are always cold during the winter. So I always have a nice fluffy scarf on. I have endless amounts of scarves. I, I've never even counted them, maybe I should, but I have scarves in our bedroom, scarves in our office, scarves downstairs, like they're everywhere. But yeah, so I have one for every outfit maybe. Lots of different colors and options. This is just one of my favorites and it is definitely on my list of essentials to help me survive the winter months. The next winter essential I have is one of my absolute favorites and it is fairly new to my winter essentials list, but it is to have a fire burning in our fireplace in our living room. This is our third winter with a fireplace and I absolutely love it. I love the ambiance it creates. I love the cozy feeling that it creates and the heat that it gives off is perfect. So yes, definitely fire burning in our fireplace is one of the top essentials on my list. And lastly on my winter essentials list, it would not be winter without hockey. As you guys might know, my husband and I and my family, like my dad and my brother, are huge Toronto Maple Leafs fans. So there is nothing quite Canadian as Hockey Night in Canada, Saturday Night Hockey Night. It is one of my top winter essentials. It just would not be winter without watching some good hockey games. But that is it for my winter essentials list. If you guys have any winter essentials that you use to help you get through the cold months, make sure to comment them down below in the comment section. I would love to hear some new ideas and maybe I can incorporate them in my winter essentials as well. If you guys want to stick around and see more videos from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I post new videos every single Wednesday. All of my social media will be listed at the end of this video as well as in the description box down below. So make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. I really hope you guys liked today's video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And this is where I'm going to end today's video. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you next week. Bye.